guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. Today we're gonna to be working on this amazing old school Volvo wagon. Dylan, if you're watching, thank you so much. Thank you for, you know, trusting me. And it feels good to know that uh, you're probably, I'm probably like the only one that you would trust, you know, touching your cars. So thanks so much, man. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Today we're gonna to work on installing a new cooling system hoses and radiator and all that stuff. So we have a lot of work to do. Look at this amazing machine, guys. Stick shift, five speed manual, 325,000 miles, which is nothing for this car. It's not even broken in yet. Yeah, it's just pretty amazing. And I love the smell of the interior on this car. Yeah, three pedals. It's a man's car. Let's open up the amazing hood on this car. And then we're gonna start working. Oh, power windows too, by the way, and power door locks. All right, guys, so we got a uh, brand new coolant hoses uh, and Dylan wants me to put those on. So, and then I'm also waiting on the radio. The radio is gonna be here today. I'm gonna replace it with, I think he bought a, a full aluminum radiator for it. So it's gonna be really nice and actually awesome. So, and this is, this looks like original. So maybe it is still original from, you know, 1993, who knows, but you know, the previous owner, amazing, uh one owner of this car he took great care of this machine and did so much work over the years too to keep it in a tip-top shape i'm super proud of him and super proud of this car and happy for dylan to have this amazing machine here all right first thing is we're gonna loosen this fan shroud already loosen these torx screws i'm gonna take this stuff out I'm not sure yet where, whether or not I'll be, you know, removing the entire fan clutch with the fan shot. We'll see. I moved this fan shroud a little bit out of the way. This car still has a factory, um, you know, protective cover right here. So we're going to take that off. so i got the splash shield out looking pretty good and then it gave me a lot more access from underneath i can start draining coolant so i'm just gonna pull this slow radiator hose i have the drain pan and we'll drain this bad boy right here like that oh yeah i loosened most of the clamps already Pull it. Ooh! <laughs> I did not anticipate all this. There you go. It's a lot of coolant. <laughs> it's all good. Let it drain. I don't know if these actually have a uh, drain plug underneath. I don't think so but it's okay even if it had a drain plug i would not touch it because sometimes if the plastic drain plug is there it can still be brittle and break off even though we're replacing this i'm just used to pulling the lower radiator hose it's a lot safer that way all right so i put this plastic bag here so there might be a little more coolant once i take this hose off right there but this should be free right here shouldn't be anything in there on this side just on that end where the thermostat is i think I may be wrong though. Let's see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's nice. Wow, this one has a metal reinforcement. That's smart. Very smart. Good idea to change all of these hoses. I'm sure they're original. Never been changed, probably. Yeah. So now, since this is a manual trans, there's no trans cooling line, so it's a lot easier, literally. So now I just have to undo these mounts right here up top and the radiator can get pulled out. And these, you don't have to take them out all the way. Just move them aside once you loosen them. That's it, radiator can come out. 
Easy as that. Some more coolant in there. Look at this debris right here. Wow. All right, it looks like I didn't have to remove the fan clutch or fan shroud. Pretty simple. Yeah, so that's awesome. Let's take the rest of these hoses off and I have to also take off some of the heater hoses too to replace those. Also, make sure to cover this alternator. I already drained the coolant, so it's fine, but if it's a lot of drippage, make sure you actually cover it. So I'm gonna do it right now, just in case, because it's gonna sit here. I'm still waiting on the radiator, basically, to come in, so. And look at that. Uh, <laughs> Volvo did it properly. Everything is metal right here. Thermostat, housing, and all that. So that makes me so happy that at least Volvo did it the right way, too. Yep, original hose has never been changed, I'm pretty sure. All right, we're gonna spray it a little bit with water here. Clean this area, scrub it a little bit. Fresh water. And I'm also gonna clean this condenser while I'm here. So with this plastic brush, I'm just gonna do it like this. See all this dust coming off? Should have done it first before I sprayed this with water. Look at that, there's a lot of garbage here. Okay, now I have to take care of those heater hoses, upper and lower, I have to, they're a little bit of a pain, but we have new ones here as well in the kit, so I'm gonna change those. That's why I have this long bit, and uh, it's basically like a long screwdriver, but with the ratchet. So we're gonna replace those things. So I took the dipstick out, and covered it uh, because I'm gonna have to get my hand in there so I don't break anything in the dipstick so I put it this way and um, I already disconnected the, those two clamps now I'm working on this right here I just have a, a long extension and I'm just uh, loosening that clamp that's all the way down there for one of the heater hoses well radio replacement is pretty simple I should say in this car but the heater hoses are a pain so I got the clamps like pretty much loosened up, all four, but they're just, these hoses are just super stuck. So when I put new ones, I'm gonna have to put silicone paste on those so they don't, you know, seize up on those fittings. But yeah, there's a lot more work to do on, you know, when working with these heater hoses. All right, finally, after messing with this other hose for 20 minutes, probably, but it was a pain let me tell you that this one this was a pain this goes to the cylinder head and then this is the other one i got so i put some uh silicone paste on the fittings there and i'm gonna install this new hose Okay, so here's the progress I actually didn't uh, show you, but I had to disconnect this uh, accelerator cable right here from here because it was in the way. And these two fuel injectors, I had to disconnect them to get to that bottom hose. Yeah, and anyway, so right now what I, I noticed some corrosion here or rust. So I'm gonna take care of these fittings with sandpaper. So I'm gonna sand them down so they're smooth and then I'm gonna put silicone paste and that will prevent it from any, from any future corrosion. It will be easy to take these off as well. So yeah, I'm gonna make them nice. Okay, so I cleaned it off here and I put silicone paste on both of them and then now I can install these ends. There it is. All right, so installed all four clamps and everything. Now I can reinstall these injectors and just clips right in. In there. Guess you have to squeeze it while you're installing it. Like that. Squeeze and install. That's it. All right, now we're gonna clean these hoses to make them look nice from all my crazy grease on my hands and make them really nice again like that 
so the only problem that i'm seeing with these hoses that right here they kind of rub together and i tried moving them side to side and everything there wouldn't be any angles so uh you know to make them perfect so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put like a, a piece of hose in between right there to prevent them from you know getting rubbed through and all that here's a brand new radiator i'm just inspecting it and make sure everything is good and it is and look at that i like this right here yeah so it's pretty nice aluminum radiator it's awesome that they're making them for these cars okay so i got these mounts on they're a little bit too small for this radiator but i mean they're all tightened down and everything it will be good and now installing the fan shroud now fan shroud it's gonna be a little bit tricky because you can't really install these bolts anymore looks like factory ones and yeah looks like this has like an extra plug right here too so i'm gonna use this uh, piece of rubber hose right there in between those two hoses so they just you know they will never you know start leaking because of you know being rubbed um, so this will really help Okay, so this is what it looks like right there. It's actually gonna prevent it from rubbing against the dipstick tube as well, as you can see. So. All right, dipstick is back. Throttle cables back on as well. Everything is great. All those hoses. All right, now I gotta finish working on this area. Got all the hoses in. Yep. Just got to attach this fan shroud. All right, so we're basically done with everything. Now I just have to put coolant in. I've got the coolant ready to go. And yeah, everything else is good. The only thing is, you know, I had to, unfortunately, you know, this is obviously a different radiator. So uh, the factory mounting holds holes uh, for the um, fan shroud. Uh, they're actually like, I mean, I wasn't able to like bolt them in or anything like that. Uh, there's no no way to do that so i had to use zip ties right now i mean it, it's holding it's fine um yeah and then uh yeah all the hoses are in place everything good to go i'm gonna start putting cool in here shortly and uh yeah everything you know, on the firewall is all connected too so yeah and the last thing after i put the cool in i'm gonna run it then check for leaks everything if everything is good then i'm gonna put that uh undercarriage shield back on yeah and also one more thing that i did is just added a piece of hose right there between the fan shroud and the radiator hose since um it's just a little bit uh you know touching each other so yeah <laughs> that's what she said uh, but yeah i'm uh, ready to put the coolant in and let's fire this baby up already checked so far no leaks putting blue coolant in this amazing machine so far i took two bottles now we'll see if it will need a third one and also these mounts right here they're they're a little bit like i said they they were a little too small for this radio but i made them work they're, they're fine let's go ahead and start this amazing machine Let it run. Let's bleed the cooling system. The belts are making a little bit of noise. That's okay. It'll go away. So, yeah. She's doing amazing. No leaks, everything is amazing here. I had the heat full blast. It's still cool. Waiting for the system to bleed. Temperature is good. Amazing. Our level is at the max.
Everything is amazing. I'm about to test drive this machine. All right, guys, everything is back together. I'm about to test drive this machine and the splash shield where the plastic uh, thing is back together. Everything is reinstalled, cool to stopped off, no more leaks. So when I drove this car yesterday, it was one of the greatest feelings to drive this car. It's actually the clutch on this car is super forgiving. It's pretty crazy because the clutch on this car is not hydraulically controlled, but it's controlled by cable, which is crazy because if you look, literally you, you press the, it's so easy to press the clutch in and out and everything. It's like insane. So yeah, I'm about to test drive this car, make sure everything is good and temperature and all that. So yeah, this thing is amazing. Yep, I don't know how much I'll be filming because it's a stick shift and gotta pay attention to the road. But yeah, I'll definitely tell you what I think about this car. This, uh, just the looking at the interior of this car is just, it's just so immaculate, you know? And this doesn't mean anything. I don't care about that. This is nothing, you know? They all deserve love, care, and everything. And man, like, it's crazy. I love this car. One thing that I noticed about this machine is that the turning radius is insane. It's almost like on Mercedes Benz because Mercedes Benz literally like you can make a U-turn no problem. Or like if you compare it to like a, an Asian car, you would have to, you know, go backwards a couple of times before you can make a U-turn. That's how this Volvo is too. It's so amazing. This thing is literally so much fun to drive around and everything. It's so smooth. It's so forgiving and everything. And what's crazy is I never knew, but the Volvos, they have that, literally that arrow that you're about to see right here that shows to upshift. You see that? That's pretty insane. Like I've never seen that before in any cars, but oh man, what an amazing machine. I'm gonna test drive it some more in a little bit, but right now temperature is good and everything. My headlights are on by the way, but um, yeah, I just, you know, want to park this car over there and just kind of look at it a little more because just to admire this amazing machine. But yeah, it's doing great temperature, everything. Uh, I'm about to check the heater. The heater is nice and hot too. Oh yeah, amazing. Wow. This car is a champ, I gotta tell you, I love this car. Dylan, if you're watching, don't worry, yeah. I was gonna say I'm gonna steal it from you, but <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> not going to. But I wanna say that I really love your car, man. It's it's, a, it's definitely a champ. Um, and they don't make them like they used to, you know? So yeah, we're gonna pull up over here, take some pictures of this car. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Beautiful sunset today too. Pretty amazing, this is how you open the door. Just press that, wow. So amazing. Just look at the solid door. Crazy. Wow. 